everybody, it is Seth with Blue Collar Gaming with another unboxing video. So today I've received this box from uh, Secret Lair. So let's see what we've got. I'm not sure what I'm expecting. So <laughs> this will be as good of a surprise for you as it is for me. So let's see what we've got here. I think this is the... Black is Magic Secret Lair. I think that just shipped, so let's check it out. Black is Magic embossing on it, so let's get into this now. I've noticed the last several Secret Lairs that I've got have been kind of a pain to get in, and you can actually see where the box started to rip right there while I was trying to get into it. All right, so let's see what we've got here. All right. And we do have a special bonus card. I'm not going to look at that right now. We'll check that out here shortly. Okay, so here is our secret layer. Now, I've noticed in the last several secret layers, rather than the cards being separate under this uh, plastic encasing here. They've come in a little pack, so you've got to be very careful getting this pack open. So, let's see. So, first off, which we could see up under uh, exposed first, we've got Chalet Voice of Plenty. Love the art on this very gorgeous um, legendary angel. Flying, planeswalkers you control, and other creatures you control have hexproof. So this is a, a great way to help protect your planeswalkers and creatures on your board. Uh, and then uh, she's also very counter-friendly because you can pay two green and four to put a 1-1 one -one counter on each creature you control. If you've got doubling season or the new, new Vorinclex out for that matter. Or uh, what's that branching, is it branching evolution from Jumpstart? double all those counters right up. So that is a fantastic angel there. All right, let's look at the next one. Uh, next we have Ponder, so some top deck manipulation. A blue for a sorcery, one single blue. Look at the top three cards of your library, put them back in any order. You may shuffle your library, then draw a card. So you can check out, see what your next couple of cards might be. If you don't like them, shuffle them away and then draw a card. So this is a great, great card, I feel like, in, in Commander. Then we've got another kind of Commander staple here, Cultivate. Um, search your library for two basic land cards, uh, reveal those cards, put one into the battlefield tapped and the other into your hand, then shuffle your library. So this is a great, great ramp card for Commander. Then we've got a Planeswalker, Kaya, Ghost Assassin, and I love the art that they did uh, for Kaya here. It looks fantastic. Uh, Legendary Planeswalker uh, comes in with five loyalty counters for a white, a black, and two. Uh, tick up zero. Exile Kaya, Ghost Assassin, and up to one target creature. Return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control at the beginning of the next upkeep. You lose two life. Uh, minus one, each opponent loses two and you gain two. Minus two, each opponent discards a card and you draw a card. So fantastic Planeswalker. And again, the, the art on this, I just feel like is gorgeous. Then we've got our second Planeswalker for this secret layer set. Tefiri, a hero of Dominaria, um, a white, a blue, and three. Plus one, draw a card at the beginning of your next instep. Untap up to two lands. Minus three, put target none land permanent into its owner's library, third from the top, and minus eight, you get an emblem. Whenever you draw a card, exile, target permanent, and opponent control controls. So this is a fantastic, um, fantastic Planeswalker. I mean, you can do all sorts of things with this. And you've got this great uh, artwork with Tefiri and his wife and his daughter. So just great, uh, great art here on this. And then lastly, 
We have Soul Ring. Oh, nope, there's still one more card. Uh, we have Soul Ring. Uh, again, Commander Staple off the bat. Um, pay one to tap it to add two colorless mana. And they've got some new uh, flavor text on here. Every bead tells a story. They speak of the obstacles we overcome. They speak of the communities we build. We milk the milk we offer our friends and the land that feeds our people. We weave meaning, tradition, and strength into everything. That is just fantastic. And then the last card we have is Path of Ancestry. So it enters the battlefield tapped. Tap it to add one mana of any color in your commander's color identity. When that mana is spent to cast a creature spell that shares a creature type with your commander, scry one. So that is great for, um, for your tribal decks to be able to do a little top deck manipulation as you cast your creatures. All right, so this is a great secret layer here. We've got seven cards plus our bonus card. So we should check out what that bonus card is. What do we think it could be? Maybe another Kaya, maybe another Teferi. I'd, I'd be down with a Teferi. Uh, so let's just see what it is. So here is our bonus card here, and we will flip it over now. Oh, it's Sama Tyrant Smasher. Uh, two plus a uh, either a red and green or a red and green. Uh, again, this is the oh, the uh, stained glass art from War of the Spark, and then uh, Sam up here is from War of the Spark. Uh, creatures you control have haste. She comes in with five loyalty, minus one. Target creature gets plus two, plus one, and gains haste until end of turn, then scry one. So you can make some hasty, hasting creatures. I, I never really understood why you had the keyword haste on here twice. Uh, maybe somebody can explain it to me in the comments, but <laughs> anyway. So great secret layer here. Uh, eight cards in the set supporting a fantastic, um, a fantastic charity organization, Black Girls Code. Um, so I hope that everybody was able to get their hands on this set. Uh, in the meantime, I hope that you have enjoyed this unboxing video. Give us a like, give us a, sub a subscribe, leave us a comment below. What type of videos would you like to see y'all uh, see us make and post for your review? In the meantime, this is Seth with Blue Collar Gaming, hoping y'all all have a fantastic weekend.